John Lesk here of Lesk Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing a new head by Slick Trick. Man, Slick Trick's been around forever, and I love that they've, they're they now making some new fixed blade heads. Okay, they've had their standard fixed blade heads for quite a while, but today I'm going to be testing their new Revival. Okay, it's like a revival of the old solid broadheads. Okay, now they're under the outdoor group, under Slick Trick label, and so they've made some changes to it and they put it out and it's called the Slick Trick Revival. So in a minute, we're gonna check it out and then put it to the test. But I'm gonna be testing it with my uh, regimen for 2024. And for a detailed description of my, uh, my regimen, why I do the tests I do and how I do them and how I calculate the scoring and so forth, please check out the video I put out earlier this year called 2024 Broadhead Test Process and it will really walk you through it. And so for the, the testing today, I'm gonna to be using my Elite Era for most of the shooting. And then for the uh, flight testing, I'm using the Killer Instinct SWAT X1 crossbow. And for the arrows, I'm using the Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the shooting, Bishop Fat Eliminators for the concrete because they can hold up to that. And then the Bishop Goat crossbow bolt. I think it's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's zoom on in here and check out this Revival and then put it to the test. Here's a good look at the Revival, and I believe they call this the Revival because it's a revival of the old Solid Legend. Now that the Outdoor Group has acquired that, they've come out with this Slick Trick version of that Solid Legend. This is 100 grains, and as you can see, it's vented. It's a four-blade model. Uh, as for the materials, the blades are made out of a 420 stainless steel, and they're .044 inches thick, so nice thick blades. Uh, the ferrule is a 17-4 stainless steel ferrule. And the cutting diameter of the main blade is 1 and 1 eighth inches. And then of the bleeder is 0.5 inches. The total overall length is 1.3 inches. So pretty compact design. It's double bevel sharpened all the way around on the backs as well as the fronts of the blade. That's just going to aid in being able to pull it out of a target as well as if it's backing out of an animal, it's going to be cutting in all four dimensions there uh, as it backs out of the animal. Uh, like the Solid Legend, it has this weight forward design to the bleeder just to give you a little bit better FOC, front of center, as opposed to if the ferrule uh, or if the, uh, the bleeders were back here. So it's going to aid a little bit in flight. And for resharpening, sometimes curved blades can be problematic. However, if you use a Stay Sharp Guide C model sharpener for curved blades, concave or convex, it's going to make quick work of it and make it uh, pretty easy to sharpen there. So really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. The Revival got a solid nine ring. It took 157 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale. Plus it'll get a bonus for being under 200 grams. I know it's hard to see from this angle, but the Revival penetrated eight and three quarter inches. It took only an additional 18 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 9.64 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 71 layers, which is one of the best I've ever tested. It's in near perfect condition after going through the MDF three times, but you can see there's a slight chip in the bleeder blade at the top there. That's the only damage that's noticeable. It held up very well through both shots in the steel plate. You could see it just got a little bit of edge chatter on each of the blades, but otherwise uh, was perfectly intact. And you can see it made nice holes there in the steel.
Here's the revival after all the durability tests. It did perfectly well through the MDF, which is the most important. Uh, through the steel plate, it did well also. It lost a little bit of a chip of one of the bleeders, but that was impressive uh, through the steel plate. But then with that venting, it just couldn't handle the hard impact into the cinder block. But again, that's only like 3% of the overall score. It's certainly not a pass-fail. I, I try to keep re reiterating that because sometimes people view the test that way. Um, but overall, it did uh, fairly well in durability, except for that super hard impact. So what'd you think? Man, it performed really well. Okay, this head is really worth some consideration. The only uh, areas of weakness, quote unquote weakness, the, the, the areas that kind of, it, it lost a little bit of points. One is the overall cut size. And then two is with that cut on contact tip, it's not quite as durable as the chisel tips and the other slick tricks. But in a hunting situation, you know, you're probably going to be fine. So you check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most and see if this might be a good fit for you. But I say great job, Slick Trick. Love seeing you do new things. And I think this head is going to put a lot of animals down.